This is a demonstration of Pokemon. Hi, my name is Sarah Crisp, the director of the program Awakening Minds Art. I'm here to talk to you today about using social media as a marketing tool for your business or nonprofit organization. I use social media as a way to inform my customers who are on Facebook and Twitter, uh, to inform them of the different type of activities that we're doing, the classes that we're promoting, and how our business is beneficial for their specific child or uh, the individual that they're a provider for. When I first started doing Awakening Minds Art, it was very slow. I didn't have a whole lot of clientele, and the clients that I did have used word of mouth to promote the business, which can be slow. Once Facebook started really getting large in the community, and businesses, pretty much every business now has a Facebook page, and once that became very popular, I started noticing my business growing rapidly. Within the past year, my business has quadrupled in clients, and I firmly believe it's due to the type of promotion that Facebook has allowed me to do. I now share videos and photos and flyers through Facebook with my clients, with individuals that I'm not even friends with and may not even know me or use my program for their children, but they're aware of what Awakening Minds is doing and if they don't feel like it's a fit for their child, they can still use it to promote for friends and family that they know that might be beneficial for them. So they can share my information on their page without me even having to talk to those families or put the link on, their, on these people's pages that I don't know. Other people can do it for me without me even being in control of it. So Facebook is a way to allow individuals to promote for you for free and it can really take off huge from there if you, if you can do it correctly. When I do fundraising, I a lot of times will write some type of short story or a little sentence about the type of individuals we're fundraising for. Uh, for instance, April is Autism Awareness Month. So right now we're getting ready to have a small fundraiser on April 20th um, inside the gallery for students with autism. And right now what I'm doing is I'll post something, we'll say, April is Autism Awareness Month. Did you know, and then I'll pick a fact for the day and share one little fact about autism to my fans. And then after that, I'll say, please join us on April 20th inside Red Tornado Gallery to um, show support for those with autism in our community. And they'll you know, click on the page and they'll look at what's going on. They'll see what's going on April 20th. And um, I use Facebook as a way to not only promote different fundraising that we're doing, but also get people to understand why the fundraising is so important. I promote more locally on Facebook. I do have advertisements that I've placed for more um, Northwest Ohio and Central Ohio, but a lot of the communities on Facebook are based upon the counties that individuals are in or the town that they're in. And I hit those pages up pretty hard with my marketing and advertising techniques on Facebook because those are the ones who know what Awakening Minds Art is and they're the ones that I can t reach easily even if uh, in the public I can go to events and see them there as opposed to individuals who are further, you know, further south, I, I may never see them. So um, I try to promote as much as I can in locations that I can physically be in. I do, uh, and, and actually it's picked up quite a bit over the past, I'd say maybe six months, there wasn't a whole lot going on. It was, very, it was a very new program, a new app to Facebook, and didn't really understand it for a long time, but now that I understand how it's working, I'm noticing you know, a lot more people are talking about my page and sharing links, and it's, it's a great way for me to know what type of promotion I'm doing on Facebook is working and, and continue doing those types of advertisements through Facebook.
don't overwhelm your friends on Facebook. If you're posting every 10, 20 minutes about something your business is doing, people will stop looking at it. They'll see your business name and ignore what you're writing because they're overwhelmed with what you're putting. So you have to have that, there's that fine line of when is there too much advertisement on Facebook and when is there not enough. If you're not doing enough, then people aren't reading your posts, they don't get on and see it, it's not a priority on the Facebook list. If you're doing too much, it really makes your business look, and your personal, it makes you personally look like you have too much free time and that all you can do is sit in front of your computer and send links and post messages. So you really have to find that meet, that fine line of where the perfect amount of posting is before you start losing your customers. Your customers will block you from their pages and block you from your news feed. So you really have to be careful about how much you're posting.